بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Our Lord give unto us in this world that which is good and in the hereafter that which is good and protect us from the punishment of the fire Our Lord pour out patience on us plant firmly our feet and give us victory over the disbelieving people Our Lord do not take us to task if we forget or make a mistake Our Lord do not place such a burden on us as you had placed on those before us our lord burden us not with that which we have not the strength to bear pardon us grant us forgiveness and have mercy on us you are our protector so help us to victory over the disbelieving people our lord do not let our hearts falter after you have guided us and grant us mercy from your presence surely you are the most generous grantor Our Lord surely we have believed so forgive us our sins and shield us from the punishment of the fire Our Lord you have not created all this in vain glory be to you shield us then from the punishment of the fire Our Lord surely whomsoever you sentence to the fire you have disgraced him indeed and for wrong doers there will be no supporters Our Lord Surely we heard a caller calling to the faith saying believe in your lord and we believed our lord forgive us therefore our sins and blot out from us our evil deeds and in death join us with the righteous our lord grant us what you have promised to us through your messenger and do not disgrace us on the day of judgment surely you never break your promise our lord we have wronged our souls And if you do not forgive us and grant us mercy we shall certainly be among the losers our lord pour out patience over us and make us die as muslims you are our protector so forgive us and show us mercy for you are the best of those who forgive our lord do not turn us into victim of the unjust people and save us through your mercy from the disbelieving people o the creator of the heavens and the earth You are my protector in this world and in the hereafter make me die a muslim and unite me with the righteous my lord make me and my offspring establish salah our lord accept my supplication our lord forgive me and my parents and all believers on the day when the reckoning will be set my lord show them my parents mercy just as they cared for me when i was a little child My Lord make me enter through a rightful entrance and leave by a rightful exit and grant me supporting authority from your presence. Our Lord grant us mercy from your presence and provide us with guidance in our affairs. My Lord open my heart for me, make my task easy for me and lose a knot from my tongue so they may understand my speech. My Lord increase me in knowledge. Adversity has afflicted me and you are the most merciful of those who show mercy. My Lord leave me not childless even though you are the best of heirs. My Lord cause me to land at a blessed landing place for you are the best of all those who bring to land. My Lord I seek refuge with you from the promptings of the shaitans and I seek refuge with you my Lord from that they come to me. Our Lord we believe so forgive us. and have mercy on us and you are the best one to show mercy our lord turn away from us the punishment of the hell surely its punishment is a persisting affliction our lord grant us the delight of our eyes in our spouses and our offspring and make us a model for the god fearing my lord grant me that i should be grateful for your favor that you have bestowed on me and on my parents and that i do the good deeds that you are pleased with and admit me through your mercy among your pious servants my lord i am needy of whatever good you send down for me my lord help me against the mischievous people our lord your mercy and knowledge encompass everything therefore forgive those who repent and follow your way and shield them from the punishment of the hell our lord admit them to the gardens of eternity that you have promised to them and to the righteous among their fathers their wives and their posterity 
You are the powerful, the wise, and shield them from all ill. And any whom you do shield from ills that day, on them surely you have bestowed mercy, and that is the supreme achievement indeed. And grant for my benefit goodness in my progeny. Truly I have turned to you repentant, and truly I am one of those who submit to you. I have been overpowered, so help me. Our Lord forgive us and those of our brethren who preceded us in faith and do not allow any spite to remain in our hearts towards the believers our Lord surely you are full of kindness most merciful our Lord in you we put our trust and to you do we turn in repentance and to you is the eventual destiny our Lord make us not a prey for those who disbelieve and forgive us our Lord, indeed, you alone are the exalted in might, the wise. Our Lord, perfect our light for us and forgive us. Surely you have power over all things. O my Lord, forgive me, my parents, all who enter my house in a state of belief, and all believing men and believing women. O Allah, wash away my sins with snow and hail water and purify my heart of sins as a white garment is cleansed of soil and distance my sins as far away from me as you have distanced the east from the west O Allah bestow on my soul its taqwa purify it for you are the best of those who can purify it you alone are its guardian and master O Allah we ask you for every good that your prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam asked you for O oh Allah, we beg you for the means of your forgiveness, for the deeds that will lead to salvation, for safety from all sins, for a share in every piety, for attainment of paradise and for freedom from hell. O oh Allah, I beg you for beneficial knowledge. O oh Allah, forgive my sins, both unintentional and intentional. O oh Allah, forgive my errors, my ignorance, my excesses in my affairs and those of my wrongs that you know better than I. O oh Allah, forgive my sins that I committed earnestly and those that I committed in jest. O oh Allah, the turner of hearts, keep our hearts turned to your obedience. O oh Allah, give me guidance and keep me firm on the path of guidance. O oh Allah, I beg you for guidance, piety, chastity, and contentment. O oh Allah, put in order for me my religion, which is my protection. Put in order for me my material world, in which lies my livelihood. Put in order for me my life, to come to which is my return. Make life a means of increase for me in all that is good, and death a respite for me from every evil. O oh Allah, forgive my sins. Have mercy on me, give me health and safety, and provide me with sustenance. O Allah, I seek your protection from helplessness, lethargy, cowardice, senility, debt, and sinfulness, from the punishment of the fire, the ordeal of fire, the tribulation of the grave, the punishment in the grave, and the evil tribulations of affluence and of poverty, from the evil tribulations of Antichrist from the test of life and death, from the hardness of heart, heedlessness, economic dependence, humiliation, indigence, unbelief, transgression, dissension, and seeking fame and showing off from deafness, dumbness, lunacy, leprosy, and all painful diseases, from the burden of debt, worries, grief, stinginess, and correction of people, from reaching debilitating old age, and from the tribulation of this world and the knowledge that does not benefit and the heart that does not submit to Allah the soul that is never satiated and the dua that is not accepted Ameen